let's now check what we can do with uh, a Pluto connected to a spectrum analyzer and uh, um, what are the, the good and bad uh, um, specs of this uh, very cheap uh, hardware. So we will use uh, Satsagen as a generator. We are now at uh, 100 megahertz. What we see actually the spectrum is uh, sweeping from uh, 0 to 26.5 gigahertz and you see that uh, the something that can be used as good is uh, that uh, uh, there is a high reach uh, content of harmonics that can be used. You see that uh, we can now sing more or less until 13 gigahertz of uh, harmonics. If we expand the stop frequency to 1 gigahertz, we can see two things. First, that uh, the harmonics are not correctly spaced and this depends on the satsagen and uh, okay let's stop the discussion on this point uh, people who made the software already was uh, are aware of this and uh, i show you how other software doesn't suffer from the same problem what we can see is that the second and fourth and other harmonics are severely um, attenuated and this means that um, the output is rich of the third, fifth, seventh, etc. harmonics. Um, so typically I would say that uh, the output is uh, square or um, pulse. N of course, not sinusoidal, and this can easily also check the, with an oscilloscope. Uh, let's check uh, uh, the spectral purity near the 100 megahertz carrier. So I said center frequency 100 megahertz okay you can see that you have uh, spurious around let's see okay we are now at 50 megahertz of span so there are uh, sp spurious and the biggest is around uh, minus 30 from the uh, from the 100 megahertz carrier let's continue to span let me put um, a tracking because the frequency of the Pluto is not perfect so I will put a, a tracking on the spectrum analyzer for having all the time. Let me check if I can take out a little, okay, this problem on the, on the video. Okay, now I think it's better. Let's continue to decrease the span. We are now at a total of uh, 500 uh, kilohertz, that means 50 kilohertz per division. You see that near the carrier phase noise and uh, purity is good. 
we can still go lower and now we have a filter of uh, uh, 100 hertz and uh, the spectral purity is good we continue we have now 10 hertz of filter and still good we go till the edge of the possibility of a spectrum analyzer and we are now at uh, with a filter of 1 hertz and uh, a total span of uh, 100 hertz that means 10 hertz per division so near the carrier the spectral purity is fine and can be increased uh, changing the TC the T6 so inside the Pluto. Now let's return to different span. So let's make start stop frequency start zero hertz. Frequency stop six gigahertz okay now we can have a look at the full band from 0 hertz to 6 gigahertz and we see the harmonics now I will increase the knob uh, It's not easy for me because I don't have three hands, but let's try. Okay, now I am increasing the frequency too much. What's happened to the spectrum? Ah, the tracking, sorry. Frequency, star frequency, zero hertz. Uh, marker tracking off okay so start frequency zero hertz stop frequency six gigahertz okay now I continue to increase the frequency And you see that there are some spurious, but not too much. And the level is increasing with the frequency, but still uh, around uh, zero dB. We are now around 800 megahertz, and still going up. I have to see sometimes what I am doing with a PC and sometimes what I see on the, on the video. Okay, we are now at uh, around uh, 2 gigahertz. Still going up. It's not bad. Now we had some change and some spurious. Now it's still good. Three gigahertz. Still going up. Four 
4 gigahertz still going up Five gigahertz. I want to go at six gigahertz and then see. Six gigahertz. Let's now center frequency six gigahertz. Okay, span. Okay, let me put a marker on. and the signal tracking so you can see that you have uh, some spurious some white band phase noise due to multiplication of a crystal oscillator but near Near the center of the carrier, the, the carrier is still good. We are now with a filter of 30 Hz, 10 Hz, and we go till the edge of the possibility of a spectrum analyzer. It takes time and maybe is not at this stage uh, able to put it again in the center but uh, we are at 10 hertz a uh, filter of one hertz and uh, uh, 10 hertz uh, per division so probably the jitter of the stall oscillator of the Adam Pluto is jittering but uh, we are at a very high level of uh, accuracy from the spectrum analyzer and we are at 6 gigahertz and this can be increased changing the T6 so of the Pluto let's now return back Sorry, let me put signal tracking off. Span. Okay. So I am now nearly from 0 to 12 uh, to 12 gigahertz but I want to increase so frequency start 0 hertz frequency stop 26.5 gigahertz okay now you can see here the second and third harmonics that it is uh, very high in frequency I put a marker around so three times I expect 18 gigahertz 
and it is not so. So uh, frequency counter off. Okay. So I have a six gigahertz here. A twelve gigahertz here. And 18 gigahertz here. So I can use, uh, for instance, the further harmonics to knowing that the level is lower, but I have anyway uh, signal at 12 gigahertz, 18 gigahertz, sorry. So now let's see what's happened with the software. If I increase. The frequency it is not easy, but okay. Even at uh, one uh, six gigahertz and one megahertz, it used the third harmonics of the generator. Let's see. So now, what I'm doing, now start frequency, zero megahertz, marker, okay. You see now that for generating six, uh, Okay, the marker is not precise because it is analog at this stage. I can put uh, marker frequency counter. Okay, you see that it, it is uh, 6 gigahertz and 1 megahertz. Like the generator said. And so I'm using the third harmonic, and the level is in the range of uh, minus 13. Of course, the fundamental is a third has put marker counter off so um, it is now at around and again I can, I can count okay you see that it is a third of six zero zero one megahertz and so we are using the third harmonics using this we can uh, have very a generator with very high frequency so i increase now but let's watch around the signal we are the, we are using the third harmonics it is, is here okay now I increase the frequency and of course it goes up seven gigahertz eight gigahertz. 9 gigahertz. Of course, the level is going down, you see.
9 gigahertz 10 gigahertz Eleven gigahertz. Anyway, the level is still good because it, it is minus thirty. So this is are the good news of harmonics. I continue. Twelve gigahertz. Thirteen. 14, 15, 16, now signal is going in near the noise, 17, 18, at 18 you see it goes in another mode in 5th harmonics. So eighteen and uh, sixty six. Okay. Eighteen and sixty-six, more or less, because the time base of uh, Pluto is what it is. Sometimes the counter has problem in reading. Okay, now is is fine. So we have a generator at minus fifty-three dBm at eighteen gigahertz using the harmonics. Let's go again up, 18, 19, 20, still, signal is still visible, 21, 22, Twenty three, twenty, twenty four, at least. Okay, let me twenty four. I can okay I'm 24 now with the fifth harmonics Let's take out the counter. Counter off, okay. So the signal is here, 24 gigahertz. So we can still work in some way in the 24 gigahertz uh, band. And the level is uh, still minus 50, 56 it is compatible with the use of a receiver and we can maybe also increase a bit, little bit the ticks power but okay you see that the signal is present let's go upper Twenty five, 
26. I punted 26.5. I'm trying. Okay. Frequency center twenty six point five gigahertz. Span. You see that there is a signal. Okay, sorry. I go. Okay, you see that there is a signal. If I change the span, we have a signal. of around 26.5 gigahertz depending on the uh, accuracy of the Pluto TCXO and the level of minus 62 that again can be used uh, for uh, judging uh, a receiver if you know of course the level well this was possibly with the adult Pluto and with Satsagen software in the section generator. Not bad for a device that cost uh, in the order of uh, 150 euros.